Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis at CES 2015. Let's talk innovative stuff here at CES with Dan Pigeon, the chairman of the CEA. Welcome to Geek Beats. Hey Dan. How, how's your first CES as chairman of the CEA? <laughs> this is great. What a great job I have. This is the most fun in the world. Yeah, well, it's fun for every geek in the entire world. Even us, uh, you know, media, we, we spend the week just working our butts off, our feet hurt, our backs hurt, everything, because there's so much to see. Uh, but it's still fun. Yeah, it is. It's actually funny because for the first time I got to see the show before the show was actually presented. And I walked through the halls. In fact, I even saw, saw y'all. And it, it's amazing how it comes together on like the last day because you never would have guessed it. But somehow, some way, it all does. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, it's it's kind of a nerve-wracking experience ahead of time. Yeah, no, I, in fact, I know uh, several uh, planes at the airport were offloading when I landed on Monday with products that were brought to the show the same day to get unboxed, uncrated, set up to be on display the next day. That's how new those products were. They were coming from Korea, Japan, all these places, same day. It was unbelievable. That's awesome. But it is all worth it. Once the, the doors open for the first time, which was yesterday, Tuesday, and everybody kind of flows in and starts looking at stuff, this is CES, where all the innovative stuff is shown off for the year. Uh, what have you seen this year? Well, obviously the autonomous car, and uh, Mercedes-Benz did the keynote, the kickoff, uh, uh, right before a rest CES opened. I, I haven't seen it. Tell me about it. I have to tell you, it was uh, it was the car completely rethought. So while you think, well, you just take a traditional car and just you know add to autonomous features that drive yourself, uh, it actually turned the whole room into essentially a, a carriage uh, of of old. I mean, if you look back. What do at, you mean turn the whole room? Well, it, it's it. I'm sorry, the whole car. Oh, okay. It, yeah. it, it, I shouldn't say that. The, the whole car into a, essentially a carriage uh, where it's club seating, where you you are looking and actually interacting as if you're sitting in your living room and yet the car is taking you where you want to go or picking you up from where you uh, want to go. The shape of the car, the look of the car, everything is completely different and, and redefined. So we should be forgetting about Google kind of uh, the autonomous car like like that image and be rethinking the car entirely. Well, I think the car has to be rethought entirely, and I think Google recognizes that as well. I think that what they're doing is, is great first steps in, in trying to move everybody in that direction. But the autonomous car where is, is going to change the world. It really is because it's going to change it for safety. It's going to change it for convenience. It's going to change everything about how we commute, how we go, how we get picked up from work, all of these other great things on there. It even has, and on the Mercedes, which you'll see, it actually communicates with people outside. So it will actually project pathways to the car onto the concrete for you. It's It was really an amazing display and, and something really neat to see here at CES. That's amazing. I, well, obviously, I'm going to have to go to Central Hall or North Hall North probably Hall. to see right. that. Uh, so that is, that is one example of what's really exciting here at CES. The other thing that's really hot topic right now is connected devices, automation again, um, and smart devices in general. So we made a big leap forward. So, you know, traditionally it was all about, okay, can I connect to my thermostat or can I connect to my door locks? And now it's kind of taken that evolution of kind of predicting. So you're going to wear a wristwatch that knows when you're home, that knows when you're awake and knows where you're going. Proximity and sensors. Proximity sensors. And we'll, you know, we'll unlock doors for you or turn your climate control on or turn your car on or all of these things just because you're there. So it's more predictive in nature than traditionally just being connected. So what you know the idea there is you know you walk up you're wearing a band you walk up to your door it recognizes that unlocks the door you walk right in you don't have to open an app and say I'm here unlock or anything like that gesture control is also something that's being worked into these bands that we wear the wearables uh, and you could do the same thing you could raise your arm to open a garage door things like that yeah I mean Personally, I think that still needs to be worked through. I noticed that uh, you know JBL, I think, is introducing a headphone that you know you just move your hand and it raises and lowers volume. Uh, I think you know you're talking about training habits and you know training behaviors. That's a little bit more difficult task. I like what is happening over at Samsung and Sony and some of these other uh, places that that just happen to know. Uh, that your presence and what your likes are and what your your likes aren't. Uh, you know, of course, that brings about a whole scary thought of, well, you know, maybe they know too much about me. But uh, it, either way, it's making our lives better. And, and I think that it's such a cool time to be in this industry and have these products available to the consumers. 
I'm excited. I'm having fun, and I can't wait to go hit the show floor today for a fuller look at, at everything that, that CES has to offer. But describe exactly what your job as chairman of the CEA is. So uh, my main job, obviously, other than promoting the industry and, and uh, working with our partners and making sure that uh, uh, we improve our technology, it is really uh, about uh, working with government more than it is working with the industry and trying to keep government from doing things they shouldn't do. Uh, we're meeting with uh, the FCC chairman uh, this morning uh, on matters of um, uh, net neutrality and on matters of the internet and all of these things are, are very very important that CEA uh, have a place at the table uh, in our industry have a place at the table to talk about these issues and like I say governments things like uh, Uber that we've talked about in the past where you know governments have tried to shut down this great innovative company and it just shouldn't happen we, we need to be out there so most of my role is is working with government working with our people to make sure that we represent the industry and more importantly we represent the consumer and, and trying to make sure that that everything is accessible, government doesn't do things that they shouldn't do, and uh, we can have, of course, free-flowing goods to our consumers. And is there something that the consumers can do, uh, you and I can do to tell you guys what we're looking for to help you help us, Boy, that, help me help us? Well, that was right on. That was right on cue. I pre <laughs> the, so uh, joining the innovation movement, uh, which is uh, uh, CEA's uh, uh, arm to kind of reach out to everybody, uh, having them be a part of the industry and share their thoughts, uh, share. Uh, what they want to do. There's also, of course, uh, we have our own PAC, CEA PAC. It's nonpartisan. We uh, equally uh, distribute money to Republicans and Democrats that support innovation and support uh, policies that, that promote innovation. And, and that's what really our goal is, is, is to make sure that innovation is promoted above all. And if that happens, we all win. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Dan. I know you're a busy guy now, and well, you always have been, but especially now, uh, you got to go do your thing. You guys uh, take action on the innovation movement, the PAC, and uh, we'll be keeping you informed here at CES on all of the innovation that he was talking about and more. Geekbeat.tv slash CES Live. I'm Callie Lewis. That's Dan Pigeon. Bye.